This video shows you how to assemble Russo Spider Shelving. You will also see how this product really adapts to your organization's needs. We will demonstrate the following five aspects. First, the product's innovative features. Then, the modular dimensions that enable personalized layouts. Thirdly, we show you how the uprights are assembled to form the base of the system. Then we explain how to finalize assembly of the structure and the main components. And to finish, the option of making back-to-back -back and side-by-side -side arrangements. Unquestionably, the core of the spider shelving system is the exclusive design of the post. Their tubular T-shape has up to seven fixing zones for the various applications and accessories. You can choose from two fronts, one more stylish and the other more versatile for attaching certain accessories for the mini-racking applications or two-level shelving. In particular, this highly functional shape has the great advantage of only having one type of post to be managed and assembled, even for the installation of single, side-by-side, -side, and back-to-back -back units. The Spider system has two types of uprights, open with ladder braces and closed uprights with painted panels. Use the islands to make the most of your space. These perforated panels are a great example. It can be useful to assemble the uprights on site with bolts, or you can order welded uprights. The latter costs more, but will save you installation time. Rousseau offers a vast choice of colors. We recommend light colors for panels and shelves for maximum reflection. Combining a brighter color for the post adds a distinctive touch to your installation. Spider shelving also features rigid shelf connections using compression clips exclusive to Rousseau. The shelves can be adjusted on one inch centers. Another great feature of the spider shelving system is the capacity of the shelves. They are designed for intense use with a roll form box shape welded on the front and back. The spider shelving system has a wide choice of post heights and shelf dimensions to enable layouts suited to the space available and the objects to be stored. This means the first shelf can be put 3 inches from the floor and helps the shelf spacing calculation. Rousseau has a choice of several shelf widths for making the most of your space. If you have to calculate shelving dimensions exactly, allow for the width of the post front, which is 1 and 5 eighths. So the exact dimension will always be 1 and 5 eighths more than the nominal dimension, regardless of the number of units installed side by side. For the depths, Russo also has several shelf dimensions. Again, we give the nominal dimensions. If you have to calculate the actual dimension of your system, here is the exact measurement for a single unit. When two closed units are installed back to back, the exact measurement will be one half inch more than the total nominal depth. This information is provided in the installation guide. For a multi-level shelving or higher than 123 inch installation, please refer to datasheet S52, available on eRousseau or through our customer service department. Finally, it is important to mention that the SH20 shelf is one and a quarter inch thick. This measurement may be needed to calculate the shelf spacing. Now you're ready to move on to the assembly steps. Here are the tools you will need. Note that the assembly guide is in the hardware box, clearly marked with an orange sticker. First we start with the uprights. If you ordered welded uprights, you can go directly to the floor plate assembly step. Make sure to always install universal SR post in the direction shown. As mentioned before, the front holes can be used to attach accessories. Simply slide the panel inside the first post. The best method is to put the bottom bolts one and a half inches from the end, aligned with the double holes. Do not tighten at this point. Please note, if SH45 foot plates are needed, then the bottom bolts are not required for now. If 
you have two panels to be installed, the upper panel must overlap the lower one as shown. Two bolts are required at the overlap of the panels. And one and a half inches from the top. The other bolts must not be over 24 inches apart and have to be aligned with the double holes. Simply complete the assembly with the second post. Make sure everything is correctly aligned and fully tighten all the bolts. Then you're done! If you plan to anchor the units to the floor or add shin plates to level your units, the SH45 foot plate has to be bolted to the post bottoms at this point. Again, be sure to tighten the bolts. Alright, you can move on to the next step. If you have bolted side uprights, we recommend you set up the aisle ends so that the top panel overlaps the bottom one. The installation will be much more aesthetically pleasing. Then, just bolt the back panels by placing them inside the post as shown. Make sure you do not put them on the outside. Start with the first panel and place the bolts in the third series of double holes from the post bottom. Do not tighten at this point. Add a second bolt at one and a half inches from the floor. Repeat the same operation on the other side. Now, place your top panel. If the back of the shelving is to be visible, we recommend you insert the top panel as shown. Again, this is a minor detail, but it makes a difference when the installation is finished. To hold it in place, insert two bolts in the top holes. Insert two more bolts at the overlap, but do not tighten at this point. Add the next two bolts, 24 inches higher, to finalize the assembly. If you are installing back-to-back -back shelving, hold the two uprights together, and bolt the panel from the inside. In this case, use 1 inch bolts. Add a second bolt at the bottom of the post to stabilize the unit. Repeat the same operation on the other side, but do not tighten at this point. Install your second panel. Be sure to put bolts at the top of the unit, at the overlap, and make sure to have no more than 24 inches between the bolts. Now you're ready to install the first shelves and the floor anchoring of the post, if required. Start by installing the shelves at the top of the units. Place the clips as shown. And then the shelves. Temporarily place a shelf around 30 inches from the floor. This will ensure solidity of the unit during the installation.
Make sure that each corner is clipped in place. Make sure everything is correctly aligned and fully tighten all the bolts. If a front base is required, it must be installed before anchoring the shelving unit. If you have to anchor the shelving on a concrete floor, use the anchoring supplied by Rousseau. Drill 3 8 inch diameter holes. We recommend drilling to a depth of 3 and a quarter inches. With the anchoring in place, don't tighten the bolts because you have to make sure the shelving is level. If required, fit shims under the anchoring plates. Check again that the shelving is level and you can then tighten the anchoring. We recommend you install the shelf 3 inches from the floor. The clip goes just above the double holes. To facilitate placement of the clips for the other shelves, you can use the double holes on the post fronts for reference. They are set at every 12 inches, center on center. Then, simply put the shelves in their place. One last thing, insert the provided clips which keep your back panels tight to the shelves. Great work! Now you can start to use the shelving.